They could yeah. have it at breakfast, their mid-morning snack. Yeah. They could even read it again. Do you, Okay. Does everyone have a mid-morning snack? <laughs> you know how some things always said, like, you should eat every two hours. I thought it was four. No. Whoa. Two. Okay. Every All two, right. Q2. Q2. have a printable of that uh lisa wrote a book on a it book called fearless and free we did yeah. a podcast with her last season called fearless you and have free. to listen to that podcast it's, it's unbelievable so stinking good it, it was incredible yeah. so she talked all about her journey of that and beginning to to claim scripture over her life and to declare it um so listen to that podcast get that bible study get in god's word and and begin to own that for yourself start talking to yourself that way yeah we'll make it a little story somehow yeah we'll make something i just picked i have a whole spreadsheet of verses and uh descriptors characteristics i have a whole spreadsheet of them again because we're doing other things with that and i just picked ones today that the lord put on my heart that somebody needed to hear and needed to begin to claim for themselves people just said in it that was for me mm -hmm. that's so cool Praise the Lord. Oh, that makes me want to cry. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. The, the podcast, word is for you and it's about you. The podcast is actually called Fearless and Free, I think. That episode. Yeah. yeah. So if you just search on our website, Fearless and Free, or search Lisa, or search, yeah, yeah. search Lisa, you'll find it. There's not many Lisas. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions? We're here for you. We are here. We aim to please mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch Jesus Likes You at a BAS night on Friday. It was so beautiful. I love that one. I, I love talking about how much the Lord likes us. Because I'm still surprised by it. How much he likes me. Just who I am. How yeah. I am. He likes me. He likes me. Mm -hmm. You are my beloved with whom I am well pleased. This is what the priest told me to remember during the Shine Retreat in Kansas City. That is amazing. Love that. That's one that sounds like you've already sat with but needs yeah. to be memorized and declared and maybe written out and hung up in your house yeah you i want these words to um i want god's word to replace the ugly wrong things that people have said about us or that we've said about ourselves so if that is contrary to your experience you need to work doubly hard memorizing it declaring even though it doesn't feel true leaning into that yeah. and and owning that it's what the enemy loves to go after the opposite truth does that make sense yeah like uh if he says if he says you're ugly if that's what comes at you then first of all he's a liar so actually the opposite of that is true mm -hmm. you have a beauty that you can give to the world that only you can give it's almost like a tell when he lies to us about something. If it's nobody likes you, it's actually that you have something about you that people will be attracted to you, that you can win people for the kingdom. But he wants to tell you a lie about that so you don't use that gift from God. If you think you're not accepted, that you're not lovable, he's, he's gone after that because you actually, in the deepest part of you, are a beloved daughter of God. That's the foundational truth of your life. So he's going to lie to you about it so that that never settles within you so that you're always taking that question of like, who am I? What am I like? Does anybody like me? Will anybody ever love or accept me? He's going to want you to spend your whole life chasing your tail and asking other people to define you when the word has already done it. The Lord has already done it. Okay. I'm going to. So good. So we just de redecorated my girls' rooms, or we're in the process of redecorating the girls' room. Yeah. And we need something like right above their bed. So I'm thinking they should just like draw a verse. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. Like pick their favorite word, and then they can just like paint or draw the verse, and we can hang that above their bed like art. So cool. Just for them individually. It's like over them. You're yeah. speaking life literally over them. Yeah. I'm excited about it because someone said, this is just what my me, me and my little one needed to hear. Yes. <laughs> yes. So sweet. That's so true to start speaking those things about themselves so young. Yeah. I can't imagine the power that would have been in my life. Yeah. And the heartache. 
and the years of like questioning that would have saved me if I had known what God's word said about me, what God's heart said about me first, you know? Yeah. Um, someone asked when our journals come out, you might mean our Advent devotional, mm. which is coming out October 1st. So whoop, excited whoop. for you to get it. That's next week. Um, how does BAS VBS work? Do we need to read the chapter before or do we read it during the life? Beth, take yeah. it away. I mean, I feel like I've been talking a lot. So tomorrow and every weekday we'll be going live at 1230 Eastern and you read the chapter before you come mm -hmm. and you just underline or write down your journal one takeaway that you are going to share on the live with us. So uh, Beth and I will share our takeaway and then we will read and talk about your responses in the comments um, and I'll just get fed. It's so fun. It's the best. I can't even tell you. So tomorrow we're starting, which means today you're reading, right? Today we're reading. We're reading Acts chapter Not gonna 1. lie, sometimes I read it in the morning before Beth came. It's true. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I so read you can it do that. in the chapter they have before a whole, I came here. If they're yeah. on the East Coast, 1230 is oh, late Oh, you've got all day. morning to read. They could yeah. have it at breakfast, their mid-morning snack. Yeah. They could even read it again. Do you... Okay. Does everyone have a mid-morning snack? <laughs> you know how some things always said, like, you should eat every two hours. I thought it was four. No. Whoa. Two. Okay. Every All two. right. Q two. Well, during your mid morning snack, if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, could what? be the Eleven Seas. I don't know anything about. You Lord have of a Rings. little tea. Oh, if you're, is tea in the morning or the afternoon in the UK? What? Yeah, you could read it any time. I have a friend who's battling this so much. How do I, as a friend slash sister, help her through this? Well, I think you could share today's Teachable Tuesday with her, yes. even watch it with her, mm -hmm. and then That's you could idea. talk about it, kind of like we do with uh, BAS, VBS. You could say, what was one Ooh. verse, one characteristic or descriptor that you that really resonated with you and you thought, <gasps> like your heart kind of left, I want that to be true about me, but it doesn't feel true, and then let's both commit to memorizing the verse that spoke to us that we need to, to believe about ourselves. And then maybe keep touching base about it and pick another one, you know? I love that. I think doing it with her is really important. It's not like, you're a mess. Why don't you watch this and memorize it and then get your life together, Lord. you know? But if you're like, boy, this, I really needed to hear boy, what God's word shut said about me. That's how I talk. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I needed this. I needed this. So I'm going to do this. Do you want to do it with me? Same deal with Axe. Just lots of jerky this morning. <laughs> you are the family I don't have. God bless you, dear sisters in Christ. You, we are the family you do have. That's true. That's, <laughs> love that. that's what baptism is. That's what the church is. We're family. I love to meet people when we go and do like retreats and stuff. Yeah. And they're like, I feel like I know you. And I'm like, you do. Because you receive the Eucharist and so do I. And we're part of the same family. Love that. And that's what blessed is she is. Just a sisterhood. We're sisters in Christ. Yes, we'll have the Advent devotionals at the Shine Retreat in Annapolis. Yeah, we will. Read chapter one tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For oh, Acts. Yeah, or today. Or today. Or tomorrow. Yeah. But we'll be here at 9.30. Yes, uh, there is a prayer journal coming. Eastern. 9.30 Pacific. I'm sorry, 12.30 Eastern, 9.30. We'll put it on stories, guys. Our time. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a lot stories. on stories. I'm going to introduce Therese today. She's going to do a lot on stories. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> um, yes, there is a prayer journal with Mary on it, and mm -hmm. she's part of our Advent bundle. Mm -hmm. So Can't you wait. will be able to get her via the bundle. Yes. Um, there's no list of what and when to read. You just read a chapter a day. Yeah. So tomorrow, we're just talking about chapter one. Thursday, chapter two, chapter two, Friday, chapter, chapter three. three, Saturday, catch up, gotcha, we're only on the weekdays, weekdays, yes, these lives are saved on the YouTube, mm -hmm. um, I forgot my Bible this morning, will these be available later today, yeah, Therese is going to put them up, sure, Therese well. is doing a lot today, here oh, on the gram for 24 hours, Oh yeah, you can rewatch this. Blessed is she. This page. will also be on YouTube. This uh, is on always. Facebook. YouTube always. You guys, we just want to make this as easy for you as possible. What's your favorite way to watch? Yeah, tell us. Oh, I thought you were actually asking. 
Yeah, we could. Any update on a shine retreat in the PN dubs? Mm, no update, sadly. We need you. We need your help. Yeah. There is a form on the website uh, if you have a potential retreat uh, hosting parish for us. Let me tell you a couple of things you're going to see on the form. We need a parish uh, church and a hall that can fit 400 <laughs> people. It's not... Uh, lots you read of read all of the instructions. Lots of churches fit 400 people, but we don't have our sessions in the church. We need a space to eat and to have our sessions. So a beautiful church and beautiful hall, not a gym, beautiful church and hall for 400, okay? Uh, then we need it to be about 30 minutes from a major airport, not a municipal or regional municipal. airport. Yeah, like not a little guy that you have to take like a prop plane into. We need a major No single airport. engine planes <laughs> allowed. So within 30 minutes of the airport, um, I mean, if you can get past those two, <laughs> I'd love to talk we to you. We want to talk to you. Yeah. We want to make it happen in the PNW. I would love to. Because I love it up there. It's so beautiful. I'm dying to go back. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the questions. Okay, well. Do you have any more? Glad we were here. Beth? Hmm, Jenna. Do you have any questions? Where did me? you get your shirt? <laughs> BD, no. <laughs> I like that we're in opposite colors today. Yeah, me too. Like it's opposite day. You know? That's it. I don't know. Uh, That's it, huh? Uh, let's see. Maybe I missed I mean, one. We don't have to hang. Mm -hmm. We can. We can go. We can go. I have a feeling I'll be attending okay. BAS retreat in Ireland. Well, that's cool. Please come. I love that feeling. Wow. Cannot wait. No one told you what, Steph. Steph's here. Steph, tell us everything. Oh, about opposites. Steph just always wants Steph, to Steph, I just told us. you. Just change right now. What about all of the above, but 40 minutes from the airport? Ooh. Is it 40 minutes in traffic? Then it's great. Or 40 minutes. We like minutes, 40 minutes in traffic. That's 40 fine. minutes no traffic at midnight but then becomes an hour and a half in traffic with traffic you guys t you have to fill out the application i put the link yeah take a in look the oh, thank you yeah so go put it in there because we can't well she's wearing black and white stuff's in so tell us if it meets all of those little check boxes mm -hmm. would you check it when you're going through the form yeah then put your info yeah then we see it then we call you yeah then we come to you and then we do a retreat for 400 women in your area. And it's the coolest thing It's ever. amazing, yeah. It, I mean, the fact that it is so challenging to find a site with just those couple of things tells me that the Lord has a will. And he, he wants to come certain places. And trying to, like, <clears throat> force it doesn't work. Square, round, peg. Yeah, it hole. just doesn't work. Doesn't so work. we're trying to go where it's a good fit, where the Lord is like, making a way that's where we're going yeah there's traffic everywhere we know there is yeah there is traffic. there is <laughs> we're here in phoenix we're about 20 minutes from the airport at st andrews 25 yeah in traffic i would say it's closer to 40. no in traffic it's closer 30. to 30. <laughs> because the roads here like you guys the roads here are cali. amazing in cali or atlanta yeah. or seattle yeah yeah, yeah. Phoenix is a great so place. So I will you guys tell you. Move here. You know what? I will tell you. They're here. I want you to. You're on our team. You're yeah. part of the family. Our Northeast retreat is booked for 2020. So if you're in the Northeast, I would love for you to fill out a form and send it in because I'll need places in 2021. But next year, Northeast is booked. Uh, next year, Texas. We're coming back to Houston. Next year, uh, Southern group southern folks we're, we would love to be back in nashville so again sending your stuff but just know that's kind of where our heart is right now we're always here in phoenix for the southwest and uh still praying hoping and not worrying in the words of saint padre pio this feast day was yesterday about everywhere else steph wants to do two retreats in phoenix i've thought about stuff yeah yeah we might do it yeah spring and not summer your fall's already crazy, Beth. I don't know when we would do Yeah, that. I don't. Exactly. Me too. We will not be at the LA... We will not be RE at LA... Congress yeah. thing. We won't be there. No. Mm -mm. Sadly. We will be at SLS in January. 
Mm-mm-mm. Would you want Dallas, even if you're doing Houston? Maybe just one Texas one. I've heard San Antonio is pretty cool. Okay. I don't know. I guess they're all equally apart. Ike just really likes San Antonio. He said it's like one of his favorite cities in the United States. Wow. And I've never been there. Okay. Any San Antonio girls here? Uh, Northeast, we're coming to D.C. in August. Arkansas peeps would love Dallas. Would Arkansas peeps love Houston too? Seems. Can we do that? It's just a matter of like going across Was and up or just, across and down. I'm loving this just retreat just a talk. Bit, yeah. Why not Dublin next year? Well, because the Lord called us there this year and he's calling us somewhere else next year. Yes, Phoenix next year is February 21st and 22nd or 20th and 22nd. Whatever this, that Friday, that Saturday is. Every time someone asks me that, I say that. So, yes, mark your calendar. Get it in your 21st schedule. and 22nd. February 21st and 22nd. Where are you a nurse? Margaret. Oh, you're not a nurse here. Maybe somewhere else. Is DC booked? We're going to Annapolis this year. It's a knot. Go get some tickets. I think there's probably like not very many left. Yes. Right. We're not going to DC. We're not saying We're going to Indianapolis. We're saying Annapolis. Oh, does it sound like Maryland. I'm saying Indi- I don't, oh, someone I don't did say does. Indianapolis. Everybody thinks Indianapolis. I'm sorry, guys. I'll Annapolis. be more clear with my words. We're going to Annapolis. We're going to be in. <laughs> Do you see how it's uh, Oh, in Annapolis. Indianapolis. In uh. Maryland. <laughs> Annapolis. Uh, <laughs> in three weeks. And then, yes, we will be in Europe. We'll be in, in Ireland. Ireland. We'll be there for two weekends. Come. Will, listen, friends, I, I, you heard it here first. We are not coming to Europe next year. The two weekends in Dublin are your You're last here, here opportunity first. for, I don't know how long. Take it up with the Lord. <laughs> we will be in Europe, like November 8th and 9th and 15th and 16th are our two European retreats. And we are not coming back to Europe next year. Fill out the form with info. Yeah. Please come to Ireland. Anyone can go to Ireland. Anyone. You could live in you could live in Phoenix and go to Ireland. You're very welcome. Guys, we need your help to do these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can't just do it alone. So fill out the form. form. We would love to call you and talk to you about it. It would be so fun. Literally, I pick up the phone and I just call you. I'm like, hey! Hi, how are you? It's hey, fun. We want to come. Give us more details. Tell me more Face about your time, church. Your yeah. Send me some pics. We're Let's there. be best friends. You become best friends with Beth. Basically. Which weekend should I go to in Ireland? <gasps> Which one's better? Well, I'll That's be at both. Question. So I'm I'm equally excited because I'll be at both of them. That's not a good answer. That's a great answer. What works with your schedule? August so next good. year in D.C. I think is the first and second or something like that. No. It's the first weekend of August. 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th. Yeah. 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th. That's what I said. Yes. November for Ireland. November 8th and 9th. Or November 15th and 16th. Uh, Jenna, Megan, somebody will drop the link in there. Blessedishe.net slash retreat is how you can find out all the info, dates, where to stay, what airport to fly into, um, what to expect, and you can buy your ticket there. Loving this. Can't wait to see you guys Good on retreat. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't wait to see all those forms filled out. Beth's just getting to call people all day. Her favorite thing. You love chatting on the phone, Beth? Sure do. I can't wait for tomorrow. Who's gonna be there? I'll be there. Were you the one answering the... Yes. <laughs> Technically, D.C. is not in the Northeast, as per the U.S. Census regions. Yeah. Yeah, I Googled it, and it is on there, so that's what we went with. Yeah. Just also, I guess Google just has their facts wrong, which Google needs to get it together. Yeah. So I will tell you that I'm moving away from thinking about them as regional Facebook group retreats and moving more toward where are we called, where is God opening doors, what are major U.S. cities that people want to visit and can easily travel to? Um, that's that's kind of what I'm working with. We need a different name then. Regional retreats. How about retreats? Major city U.S. city retreats. Hub plus hub cities. Other countries. 
I like hub cities. That's hub how I've been. Hub city seeing. retreats? Yeah, it's like a hub. This is a hub. Hey guys, come to our hub city retreats. <laughs> no, I'm just going to call it the name. Come to our shine retreat happening in these major cities. That's great. I'm loving this. <laughs> great. I'm loving it. I was going to say um, what do you do when you don't want to do what God wants you to do when you're tired? How do you deal with that? Yeah, I hear you. Well, I do it anyway. <laughs> That's what I, I mean. I'm just telling you, honestly, I try to do it anyway. Well, I do it anyway. I mean, I try to do it anyway. You know what I mean? I don't always do it well. But I do try, and when I don't, and I had a sense God wanted me to do it, I repent. I say, God, I'm so sorry. I know you wanted me to do that, and that would have been the better thing. I'm sorry. Help me next time. Help me to remember to ask you to help me in the moment. I think if you're tired, you can go be with Jesus for a good long while, and he'll restore you. Mm. And then the thing that he's asking you to do won't seem as hard because he's with you. Amen. But we get real tired because the world is tiring, guys. Yeah. Tips for praying with hubs. Beth? Hub cities. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said hub city. Holy Spirit hubs. What? Yeah. I love that. Very cute. I love that. Okay. Jenna, teach me how to pray with my husband who is on the way. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. You. <clears throat> say before you go to bed hey can we say a quick Hail Mary can we pray then you do the sign of the cross and then you say the Hail Mary and then at the end of it you say Lord I want to thank you so much for my husband thank you so much for this opportunity to pray together uh, Lord I ask that we have a good night's sleep and please give him the courage um, to continue to be a good man and a good husband and father to my children and I thank you for who he is in our lives amen then you just do that again the next day that's so good then one day he'll say it at the end. He'll say, Lord, thank you so much for the gift of my beautiful wife who loves me and cares for me and honors me. And uh, Lord, just please be with her. Amen. So simple. Soups. I'm all about the simple. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I'm just going to pray that for my <laughs> husband anyway. Lord, thank you for my husband, wherever he is. I just think it's neat to do it. Just like, you don't have to like plan it. You could just do it. <clears throat> then you could do it again the next night. Hey, do you want to do the Our Father tonight? Yeah. Do you want to put on a worship song? If you guys like music? I don't know. Okay, this might be leveling up. No pressure. But I had the sweetest conversation with a friend. Sweet friend. Sweet blessed is she sister in Nashville. Who said she does BAS VBS with her husband. Yeah. So they just on their own read a chapter a day. They don't, they don't watch our lives. Sometimes she watches them, but they just share their one takeaway. And they're reading a book of the Bible together. The coolest. So cool. Yeah. Someone said, I like to use the Hollow app to pray with my husband at night. We just learned about the Hollow app yesterday. Hollow? Hallow. Halo. H-A-L-L-O-W. Oh, like hallowed be thy name. Mm -hmm. You were oh. right. Forgive me. You were right. Hallow. I forgive you, Beth. Thank you. Ooh, I like the worship idea. We both love worship. That's Me amazing. Too. Put it on the car. Sometimes Jenna and I are just driving in the car and we put on worship and we're talking about something and then we just both go after then it. Then it's just worship. Then we're just worshiping. Yeah, try praying the rosary. That's a little bit longer, but I think you could lead to that, get into that. If you both like it, you could start with it. Babe, let's pray a decade. Babe. Yeah, all my prayers with my husband are gonna start. I've got babe, Matt Fred promotes the Hello app, apparently. Love that. That's cool. I was praying for Matt Frad last night. Pfft. Not your husband, just Matt Frad. I mean, both. Pray for him too. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm still doing my 54 day novena, guys. How many days have you have left? It's 54 <laughs> days, so it takes, it takes some time. <gasps> I'm done on Monday next week. I I can't wait to watch what Matt Frad says about the Hallow app. I'm gonna. Oh, you guys! Oh. I have ripped jeans yeah. and then when I pull them they rip more <laughs> I think that's the idea. any changeable ways I can help someone who's going through their own crisis of faith hmm Jenna? I didn't listen as I was saying it out loud what did you need when you like when oh. you're going through time you're having trouble believing what do you need mm. 
I need someone to remind me the truth. So like I told Father Parks after the Houston retreat, I was like, Father, I just really struggle with doubt. Just, you know, is any of this real? What's happening? And then he was like, these are the reasons it's real. And I was like, oh, okay. And then that was it. And I haven't struggled since. Then we were doing the Gospel of Mark at that time too, just like learning about faith and wanting to have faith. And it just all worked together. So that, mm -hmm. I was also reading a book about atheism when I was talking to Mike and becoming friends with Mike. And he said to me, throw the book away. Yeah. And then he said, let's go to confession together. And then we celebrated sacrament together. And you can do that with a friend. Hey, I'm going to confession. You want to go? What do I do at confession? Well, then you can talk about why confession is good and healing. Amen. You could look up where it comes from in scripture, etc. Is that helpful? That was super helpful. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, that was great. Love that. Love that for us. Love that. Um, your jeans are blessed because they're holy. Yeah. <laughs> when did your novena end? October 11th? This person ends on October 11th. Oh, that's sweet. No, I'm done on uh, Monday the 30th. You didn't plan it on like a merry day? No, I felt like I was talking to the Lord about praying a novena. Uh-huh. And I was like, well, if I'd pray any novena for my husband, because I'm like so burned on novenas. I was like, but who's like the one person I trust? Mary. Sweet so Mary. then I was like, I'll do the 54 day novena because I do pray a daily rosary anyway. So I was like, I guess I could just intentionally do it for 54 days. And then I said, if someone brings it up, if someone brings up a 54 day rosary novena, then I'll pray it. And then a friend of mine like left me a voicemail and told me about a 54 day rosary novena and like a miracle. And I was like, now I guess I have to pray it. Actually, there was like a lot of wrestling. I was like, yeah. wait, was that it? Should I pray it? And I said that to my friend. She's like, pray the, pray the novena, Beth. So then I did, and I just started on the day that she told me that. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. The day the Lord confirmed it, I started praying. Can a non-Catholic go to confession? Nope, not yet. No. Nope. Uh, a non-Catholic can go and receive some pastoral counseling. Uh... I, I oftentimes took non-Catholic students on retreats and during confession, uh, if they just wanted to kind of talk about uh, something they were going through, they would just go to confession and say, Father, I'm not Catholic, but I would like to talk to you. And priests will do that. And you might even end up talking about coming into the church so that you can receive the fullness and the sacraments. And that would be pretty cool. Laura said, I'll pray my last few days with you, Beth. I'm doing one too, ending on the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. I'll add you to my intention. Well, how cool is that? I didn't even check the liturgical calendar. Yeah. I just started praying. I I don't even think the 30th is a feast day. But I'll, I'll, I'll pray. With, we'll be praying together now, which is kind of well, cool. Well, I'm sure there is a feast day of someone on the 30th. On the 30th? Okay. Yeah. There's lots of saints. Well, it's the day before Therese, which I'm so grateful it doesn't end on Therese's feast day because, you know, it's still touch and go. My birthday is the feast of the rosary. How sweet. Cool. All right, guys. We love you. Mm -hmm, we do. We pray for you. We look forward to our little chats right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you next week. Yeah. 1 p.m. Eastern. St. Jerome's feast day is on the 30th. Well, that's cool. Is he cool? Yep. He translated the Bible. That's a good one. Yeah. I visited his tomb in Israel. He's in Bethlehem. Our Lady of Beaumont, France. France? I'll take it. What France? is her deal? I mean, it's Mary, but we'll what is her that up. place? We'll I'm look look her up. Adios, babe. You're the best. That's cute. You're so sweet. Talk okay. Soon. Bye, Bye.